first things first, I want to bring the women back to the front of the congregation, right? And the reason why it's important for us to bring women back to the front of the congregation is because it's similar to what happened during the election and that somehow, some way, Biden got into office. And now that we have him, he's doing things that's not necessarily in your best interest, not fulfilling promises that he made. But we can't find nobody that's going to admit that they voted for him. Same thing that's happening over in Chicago with Brandon Johnson and before him, Lori Lightfoot. And you see people time and time again continue to uh, make decisions that's not in their best interest. And then even though they have these self-inflicted wounds and they getting exactly what they voted for, and it wasn't a secret as, as to what was going to come as a result of it, we do it. And it's the same thing with relationships. Most men know when the finesse is coming. We can spot inherently. Now, of course, when we get ourselves into the situation ourselves, and this may not necessarily be me in particular, but absolutely a lot of guys can identify it, especially looking at it from a distance. And this, why, this is the reason why when a guy brings a girl around, a lot of times he can see it when it's happening to other people, but he can't see it when it's happening to himself. right? And so when a guy will bring a, a chick around, Everybody around him sometimes can see that she for the streets, but he inherently ignores a lot of the signs that she displays that would then show him or if he was on the outside looking in or if he was really taking his feelings out of it and looking at it objectively or if he wasn't just focused on what it was that he can get out of her and then his lack of dick discipline then leads him down his pathway to destruction. If he was really focused, he could see who she really is and everybody around him can see it. But him, his mother can see it, the father can see it, his homeboys can see it, his homegirls can see it, this ex-chick can see it, his kids can see it. Everybody can see that this chick is for the streets and that she don't have his best interest at heart. And you almost wonder to yourself and you like, damn, he can't see that she using him or he can't see that she for the streets or everybody is trying to warn him. And then time and time again, you continue to see him with her. And then when he finally gets out of the matrix, after he's suffered enough and she leaves him or something happens... He'd be like, ah, oh, man, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, I had this fog over my eyes. Men on an individual, even on a nightly basis, right? Let's say you go out, right? And you meet this chick or something like that. And she for the streets, you know she for the streets. And she may not be an ideal woman in any way, shape, or form. And you may even slip up and bust her down knowing that you should have had a rubber and then you try to get her the, the, the pill after or you made some mistakes or you brought her back to your crib. And so once you have that level of post nut clarity, you like, damn, and you see all of the motherfucking mistakes that you made throughout the whole situation. You ain't wear a rubber. She know where you live at. She ain't even looking as good anymore because you got post nut clarity. Right. You just was completely out of your mind and unfocused. And for some reason, you can see clearly once you have that post nut clarity or when you wake up in the morning or when your dick is not as hard or whatever, it's so on and so forth. You can see a lot clearer. But for some reason, you wasn't able to put it all together and you just seen it through anyway. And this is a normal thing amongst guys that women don't understand, which is one of the reasons why when guys cheat and it's not justifying the cheating. But when guys when they cheat, they have a completely different perspective towards, you know, what happened and why it happened and why it's probably never going to happen again and why he's not going to get caught up with her and he wasn't even thinking about her and he don't even remember her name, right? Guys cheat differently than women, but that's not the conversation that we have in a day. Let me bring it back to this whole situation right now, right? A lot of women were celebrating, highlighting, and championing what was going on with Jada Pinkett. They said stay out of her business. They still relationship goals. Women then throw insults at you, and then use you as though they not for the streets. I went on Instagram today, and it was a chick that was talking spicy to me. It was several different women that was talking spicy to me. Obviously, they're not familiar with my background and how great I am, but that's neither here nor there. And then you go over to their platform, and you go on to their Instagram, and they just look straight up like chicks for the streets. I mean, they exhibit every single red flag that we highlight that is not good for men to then choose for a wife or to even be in a relationship with. I mean, got the butterfly eyelashes, right? 
is dressing skimpy, clearly got a BBL, bad one, botched, didn't go to the right doctor, toe up from the flow up, hair is in pieces, haven't even gotten it done in a whole lot of time because it ain't tax season yet and she ain't got, you know, got a bunch of munchkins running around, probably two or three baby daddies, baby mom for the streets, but she got a microphone and she could tell you what to do. So all of these different women were championing and highlighting how awesome Jada Pinkett was. And even when you held her accountable because she was creating these self-inflicted wounds in which she was throwing Will Smith under the bus, right, they still were saying, yes, queen, tune in to Red Table Talk, listening to her, her mother, and her daughter, and none of them, all of them, need to have therapy, and all of them should be putting the microphone down, and all of them, none of them, should be having a conversation and giving you any kind of advice on how it is that you need to navigate life as an individual or in a relationship, but they continued to champion them, and they was calling them their queen. Even J. Cole, I want that real love. He said he want that Jada in it. I don't want Jada and Will's love. That song aged so bad. I don't want Jada and Will's love at all. If that's what love is, leave me out of it. Just give me the respect. My father, when he was raising me, he said, Anton, once I remember the first time he did have this conversation with me, he said, Anton, would you have, rather have a woman's love or a woman's respect? Would you rather have a woman's love or would you rather have her respect? And I said, give me the respect. Give me the respect. He said, good choice. Good choice, son. Always make sure that they respect you. Because I've seen so many different, so many different women say that they love a man and then disrespect them right after that. What a woman defined as love ain't love at all. It's hatred. Because at some point in multiple different spaces, Jada said that she loved Will. But how can you say you love a man that you continue to throw under the bus on a regular basis? So I got a theory, a couple of them that we're going to mine through tonight. And I'm going to ask you guys in the chat a question. And I'm curious as to what your thoughts are both in the chat and and if you decide to come up and give your, your, your opinion on what's going on out here in these streets. Because I don't think that that's love at all. I think that's hatred. But women championed it. And they loved it. And they celebrated her. And she told y'all she had alopecia. And she was over there looking like one of them aliens that Ridley, Ridley Scott wrote about. And Sigourney Weaver was over there battling on camera. And she showed up with a shaved head. And her daughter showed up with a shaved head. And her mama was over there looking like the best one on the panel. And y'all was celebrating her. And y'all was saying, yes, queen. Until she floated off into oblivion. And nobody hired her to do another movie. And so as a result of it, she continued to go down this spiral of a path. And now she's writing a tell-all book. God damn it, Jada. Ain't this y'all queen?